In a recent video, I mentioned there is a hard truth about running for office. Voters don't care about you until they first know what you're going to do for them. A number of people sent me emails about that video, and many ask, why should I tell my story at all? There is a reason. Once voters know what you're going to do for them, they then want to know they can trust you to do it, trust you to make judgments on their behalf, to know that your values and moral principles are in sync with theirs. If you don't tell your story, voters will never know what grounds you, what makes you tick, what qualifies you to make difficult judgment calls on their behalf. So yes, your story is a very important component of your campaign message. The mistake that many candidates make when telling their story is that they recite some endless laundry list of things they've done, where they were raised, where they went to school, the jobs they held, the awards they won. That's not a story. It's a boring bio. Do that in front of an audience and they'll quickly grab their cell phones to stare at something more interesting. Your story is about some seminal event that happened in your life, one that helps explain your point of view and what makes you tick. It is through your story that you make yourself likable and human. It is through your story that you reveal your fundamental beliefs and convictions, causes that are important to you, movements you have led, people you've helped, or lessons learned from hardships you've endured. Every candidate and every human being alive has a story like that. A couple of examples. A client of mine who was a contractor had once declared bankruptcy. The circumstances were this. He was building an expensive home. The owner fell behind on the payments. Rather than lay off his workers and walk away from a job half done, he continued doing the work until he finished the roof so the house could withstand the coming winter weather. He was eventually forced to declare bankruptcy until his successful lawsuit against the owner wound its way through the court system. When voters heard the story, they quickly concluded that he was a man of integrity, character, one who would do the right thing when confronted with a difficult decision. I once helped a single mother in a hotly contested race for a family court judge in a very large jurisdiction. She told the story of being raised on a farm, working side by side with her brothers digging ditches in the family orchard, making hay, picking apples, saving money for college, raising a daughter who became a star athlete and a son who was valedictorian of his high school. Voters concluded that she was grounded with a work ethic, would treat men and women as equals in the courtroom, that she placed special priority on the welfare of children. How do you develop your story? Make a list of the ten people who've had the greatest impact on you. Perhaps it was a teacher, your parents, a coach or college professor, a minister, mentor, a friend, a spouse. Now recall some special moments with each in an event or encounter that profoundly affected you. Next, put your life in chronological order from the time you were born to present day, where you lived, what you did, what you remember from your earliest days, where you went to school, your teachers, classmates, the clubs you belonged to, the parties you attended, each year of college, your best friends, the jobs you've held, people you worked with, organizations you belonged to, things that happened to you, the good, the bad, and even the ugly. When you go through this exercise, special moments and memories will fill your mind. Next, look at the times in your life when there were significant changes in your point of view or when you changed your mind about what you wanted to do with your life, or when you saw or heard something that profoundly affected you, perhaps the day you discovered why you were born and what you were put on earth to do. These exercises will help you recall memories long buried in the recesses of your brain. And chances are when you're done you'll have not one but several stories about epic moments in your life that profoundly affected you. Stories you can tell that reveal something about your character your convictions, your moral code, your judgment, your notions of right and wrong. You'll know you have developed your signature story when it does one of the following. Does it make you human and likable? Does it reveal something about your determination or a deeply held moral principle? Does it demonstrate how an event forever changed you for the better? Does it reveal how you overcame a hardship? or developed empathy for others who confronted a difficult challenge. 
When you tell your story, does it make people think or change the way they feel? When you tell your story, do people want to talk to you or shake your hand or ask you questions? Very few candidates do this well, which is why it is so powerful when a candidate does do it well. This is just one of the 32 lessons I teach in my online course about how to run for office. If you'd like to know more about the course, you'll find a link on the screen or right below the screen, depending on the device you are using to watch this video. I'm Jay Townsend.